but greetings. My name is uh, Ms. Mosley, and I am the project director for Student Support Services. And I'd like to take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you for taking time out of your busy schedule to come to our 2015-16 fall SSS orientation. Okay, we have some amazing things planned for you this year. And I'm hoping and praying that each of you will have the opportunity to participate. And I look forward to working with each of you individually, okay? At this time, I would like to introduce some of our staff that is here. Um, we have Donna Chandler. She is our staff assistant for our TRIO office. Um, we have Bonnie Smith, who is the director of ACE, or our uh, Academic Center for Excellence. And in our room, and he is actually going to be facilitating our orientation on today, is Jock Calloway. And so at this point, I am going to go ahead and turn it over to Jock Calloway, and he is your SSS advisor. And so Jock is the only individual that you should be going to talk to about your schedule, about your academic plan, uh, any issues or concerns that you're having out here on Chipola's campus, this is your man. Job. Okay. So no pressure on that. Everybody <laughs> come see me. Okay, so you've seen this live show that we've had going on since you've been walking in. That's everything that we did last year. So we're going to talk about this year. And as you know, as Ms. Mosley said, this is the SSS orientation for this year. She went over who our uh, staff includes one person she did not mention was um, Kurt McKinnis who is an English professor here on campus a lot of you I think are in his class he's the one that's going to be um, doing our own course seminars and we'll talk more about that as, as we get into today um, one thing when you came in you logged into ACE a lot of you it was kind of seamless it was easy to do want to make sure that every time you come here to ACE for tutoring um, or if you just want to come in do your homework looking for a quiet place that you can bring your food make sure that you log in that way we kind of keep a record um, of who's coming in who's not coming in what courses you're coming in to you know kind of study for because it may list English math and all that um, so every time you come in make sure that you log in because it helps us monitor your academic progress make sure that our tutors are being scheduled at the times that they need to be scheduled um, if everyone's coming in to study for english at eight o'clock in the morning we need to make sure that we have tutors for english here at eight o'clock in the morning so it kind of just helps us to um, plan out for the semester and for the upcoming semesters one thing that you do have in front of you is the gray sheets of paper that says contracts um, Make sure that you go ahead and fill those out. Um, the first page is just basically saying that you agree to be a part of this. If you've already done one, don't worry about the first page, but make sure that you do the second page, which is the contact form. Um, every time you come see me or Ms. Mosley or Ms. Chandler, you're going to fill out a contact form just so that we can say that you did see somebody, one of our members, and then what did we talk about that day? So read over that real quickly, sign it, uh, sign the contact form, and then on the back page of that packet is the travel etiquette form. Throughout the year, we'll be going on campus tours. And we'll talk about those here in a little bit. And the travel etiquette form just basically says that you're not going to do anything that's going to embarrass yourself mama, daddy, grandma, or the college. Um, and that we're going to have a fun time everywhere we go. So we've got several different ways that you can stay in touch and know what's going on with SSS. We've got a lot of activities that we'll talk about here in a little bit and a lot of ways for you to stay informed so that you have no excuse for saying, I didn't know that was going on or I didn't know that the group was getting together to do this community service event. One of the ways is through Canvas. You want to grab it, One of the ways is through Canvas. Um, a lot of you have probably gotten an invitation to join SSS on Canvas, and 
what we need you to do is make sure that you go ahead and accept the invitation for Canvas so that we can then start monitoring your academic progress. One of the great things about being an SSS, you're fortunate in that you get to register early. So you get to pick the classes that you want to pick with the instructors that you want to pick before everyone else on campus takes those classes. So you get to have the good classes with the good teachers that work around your schedule. And what we'll do between now and October, uh, yeah, October the 29th is we'll come in, we'll meet one-on-one -on -one and kind of map out what you need to take for the spring. Some of you have already done that. You just make sure that you're on pace and on track and so that when it comes time for registration, we can get you in those classes. And so that's the biggest key with, with Canvas. Ms. Chandler is now going to um, give you a little rundown of our other social media options that you can use to stay in touch um, with the various events going on with SSS and TRIA. If you're going to talk, will you stand behind the podium, please? I can't really well, let someone else do that because the audio will be terrible and you'll be complaining that it's well, bad. Well, I'm going to speak up because I really need to. To do it. All right, this is the web page. Hopefully, all of you have, have visited here. Um, if you go down, this is the PowerPoint, it's a great thing to look at. If you guys go down, you see that we've got quick links to Canvas, Facebook. Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, just pull it this week if you want to check that out. All of them will link straight to, and there you see that's the Chamola SSS Facebook page. If you have any idea or you're wondering anything, of course you can always contact us, but you're at home, you want to go look, you can scroll down, you will see, you'll get to the point, um, you see everything that we have going on, you will see upcoming events, we're at this one right now, so we've got one left next thing in there to happen and there will be a lot added in if you go back up we're going to eventually have pinterest some may think what in the world are we going to use pinterest for it's going to have things in there like interview tips budgeting through college uh, how to do a resume just anything like that that could apply to you guys twitter and instagram are both also straight from here you don't see the instagram there if the more things that we add you'll have to actually click on apps and go to it but if you click on it, it's just a quick link, actually inside the Facebook page still, and you can follow straight from there. The same with Twitter. So all everything is right there. We are going to do a group for Trio Society, which will be a closed group. So we will invite you if we haven't, and you know that you're in Trio Society, you'll want to ask to join. Again, it will be a closed group because we only want Trio Society members it's going to be about those events. So if you have a question, it makes it interactive. If you have a question about an event or what time you need to be there, you can ask the question. It's probably something somebody else is wondering. So when we ask, everyone will see it. Um, the other thing, too, back to make sure you do this on Facebook. You need to go like. And then you all probably know if you hover right here, then you can go and hit notifications. So that you get notifications so that when we do post something, you'll know what's happening, okay? So we're gonna try to keep it updated as much as possible. We're gonna do it on a daily basis. So um, you should be able to get any information you need from all of those places. So like Job said, you're gonna know everything that's going on. Um, you won't have the excuse, well I didn't know that was happening, because we're gonna keep you informed, okay? Thank you. Okay. So everyone knows how to find us on Canvas, find us on social media, um, and all that good stuff. So let's talk about what SSS is. A lot of you probably signed up during orientation, probably didn't really know what you were doing, you were just given an application to sign up. Y'all are the cream of the crop. You're all the ones that are specifically targeted here at Chipola because you meet certain criteria and it gives you an advantage in all of these areas. First one we'll talk about is academic advising. We've already talked a little bit about how you get to register early from everybody else that's in your classes. So 
So that's one of the big things, one of the huge things. You get individualized graduation protection. So if you're getting ready to graduate, let's say you're going to graduate in the spring. Come on, let's come on in. Let's sit down and make sure that you've got all your classes lined up so that you don't get ready to graduate in the spring and it comes March and we do a graduation check and we're like, oh, we need six more hours, okay? If you come on in, we can go ahead and start mapping it out now and make sure that you're not missing any classes. And if you are, we can get those classes picked up um, in the springtime. We've talked about the academic monitoring and it goes hand in hand with, with the advising. We're also going to do some career counseling. Later on, we'll talk about some business and career workshops that we're going to have. We have about two different workshops each semester. We have two in the fall and about two or three in the spring. And what we want to make sure is whatever your interest is, is that we tailor it to your degree program. For example, if you're in, if, if you want to do civil engineering, then we need to make sure that you're not taking all culinary classes. Culinary classes are good, but if you want to be a civil engineer, those classes probably are not going to transfer over. So we want to make sure that you're taking the classes that you need to be taking. Same way if you if you want to go into culinary management, how the civil engineering classes aren't the best classes to take uh, for, your, for your major. So we're wanting to make sure that we can match your academic goals and majors to, to your choices because at the end of the day it's all about you and making sure that you're successful when you get ready to, to leave Chapala after two years. Some other areas we've talked about is some peer and professional mentoring opportunities and we're going to be working closely with the ACE Lab hand in hand to make sure that as far as tutors and then also with our peers that, that you have a relationship there, you get to know each other, and you feel comfortable coming and speaking to somebody. I know how I was in class. You come here from a high school, and you got all these new people that you did, didn't go to school with, maybe one or two more, and you may not have even spoken to them in high school. And now you're in class with them, and you don't feel comfortable for the first month or so to talk to them because you don't really know them. So we want to get rid of that anxiety as much as we can let you know who the other students on campus are so that you can feel comfortable coming down here to ACE, getting some help um, throughout the year. We've talked briefly about the campus tours. We've got the first one coming up is the FSU tour. And that is October the 17th. And what we're going to actually do on that one is take a tour of FSU and then we're staying over and watching the football game. Pretty cool. They're playing a real school. They're not playing a low-level school. They're playing Louisville. So this is going to be a huge game, nationally televised. We only have 25 tickets. Okay, So we want to make sure that when sign-up occurs, and we'll give you the date here in a little bit, if you're interested in participating in that campus tour, you come by Ms. Chandler's office, sign up with her. We're requiring a $5 deposit just to hold the ticket to make sure that you're committed as much as we're committed to the event. And then the day of the event, when you show up, you get your $5 back. So we're not taking your $5 and just holding it and putting it in our pocket or anything like that. We're going to give it back to you, but we want to make sure that you give a little to hold your spot. Um, but you see the different campus tours that we'll have coming up. We've got FSU and the University of Florida that will occur in the fall and then the others will, will be in the spring. And those are great events, uh, good bonding experience, and especially if you're interested in transferring to one of these other schools you, or in universities, you kind of get to know the campus, you meet some of their recruiters there, and start building that relationship. And that kind of ties in with some of our workshops. I'll go ahead and since we're talking about transferring, we'll have an admissions and transfer day. And what that is, there's certain deadlines as you're looking to transition and graduate from Chapola and move on to another institution. There's certain deadlines that you have to meet as far as application, scholarship packages, and all that. And we're going to sit down and make sure that we go through all of that with you so that you don't miss those deadlines. We want you to get as much um, financial aid as you can, as much scholarship money as you can, whether it's here at Chapola or at another institution. So we're going to do the financial aid and scholarship workshop. And then the business and career day. That's a good one for people that 
are in the workforce right now. Some of you may be working full time or part time. Others, you may be getting ready to graduate and you're thinking, I've never done a resume before and so I need help with a resume or I need help with interview skills. Those are some things that we'll talk about during that workshop. These won't be long workshops, just like today is not going to be long because we know that you've got a lot of things on your schedule, but we're going to throw a lot of information at you um, that's important and that you can take with you down the line and that'll be meaningful. The biggest thing associated with SSS is the ACE Lab. Uh, you've seen a lot of the staff and the tutors as, as you've come in. Um, some of you picked up <coughs> the tutor sheet that gives the schedule by subject areas and then also by days and weeks um, and the times. If you didn't pick one of those up, we've got a few left out there. We'll also be emailing that to you later today so that you'll always have it on your phone. Because to me, that's the easiest way to find out information is just pull it up on an email or something like that. So if you're leaving class and you're like, hey, I wonder if so-and-so is tutoring in the ACE lab right now, pull it up on your phone and you can stop by. Um, but I do want to introduce Ms. Charity Newsom and have her speak a little bit about the ACE lab and tell you about the benefits. Well, good afternoon. I see lots of familiar faces, but like you said, my name is Charity Newsom, and I'm the coordinator of the ACE. For those of you who aren't familiar with the ACE, what we do is we provide free tutoring to all Chipola students in any courses you're taking here at Chipola. So whether you're in a math course, science, English, anything that you're taking, you can come in and receive assistance that is absolutely free to you. So it's really a great deal. Um, most of the time we offer one-on-one -on -one peer tutoring in subjects, so but we also do really big group review sessions. So raise your hand if you're in a math class. So almost everybody is in some sort of math. So for our math courses, we do the one-on-one -on -one tutoring, which is really beneficial for your homework and if you have problems with some of your assignments. But then also before your test, we do big group review sessions. So if you're in 1033 or college algebra, several days before the test, we'll have big review sessions and we're going to go over all tests. So a lot of times students that come in here, they're going to work through all tests and they'll have an advantage over those students who don't come into the center, who don't work through practice tests. And several of you can probably testify to the fact that those tests really do help being able to go through the old format, see how a teacher tests. It makes you a lot more confident and comfortable going into the test that you'll be really, really successful. Probably a lot of you have already had your first math test in 1033 and 1105. So make sure you come in and see us before that second one so that you can get a really good grade on your next test. We also help with homework. You can bring your computers in here. Um, you can connect the laptops to the wireless. And then we also have computers in every room that are all connected to a printer in here. So plenty of spaces for you to do your work and you're allowed to eat in here. I know a lot of you probably have classes straight through the day and you may only have that hour break. So come in here, bring your food and you can get some assistance while you eat your lunch. We just really want to see you guys be successful, so we're going to help you in any way that we possibly can. We're open Monday through Thursday from 7.30 to 5.30 and on Fridays from 8 to 12. So plenty of time for you to come in and get some assistance. The only thing that we ask of you is to make sure you log in. Whenever you came in today, you logged in on the computer, please, please make sure you do that. That's how our staff gets paid, that's how I get paid. So it's really, really important to us that if you'll just do that for us, we know sometimes it's a pain, but if you'll do that, it's really quick, simple. That means a lot to us. So please do that, and then you can come in and receive assistance with whatever you need help with. So we're really um, want to see you guys come in. If, if you come in, let's say twice, do you have to log in both times? No, good question. If you come in more than once in a day, once you log in that first initial time, that's all you have to do. I may not remember that you've already been in there, so if I say, hey, log in, just tell me. I logged in earlier today, and normally when you tell me that, I'll remember that I saw you earlier in the day, but just give me a heads up. Um, in the mornings especially, it's really, really busy. So sometimes we do ask you to be patient with us because there may be 60 people in here and we may have five tutors. So obviously we can't help everyone for a solid hour, you know, straight just individually. We may have to bounce between people. So we do ask for you to be patient. But if you come first thing in the morning, 7.30 or later in the afternoons, that's when it's the most quiet. So if you do need a lot of one-on-one -on -one assistance, that's really the best time to come. But any time of the day you come, we're going to help you to the best of our ability. It's just busier at other times of day. So does anybody have any questions? Anything? Okay, well, we 
we really, really want all of you to come in. We want to help you. Um, it's really beneficial. A lot of students can tell you that the ACE has really made a big difference in their grades and in their coursework. So we want to see all of you guys be really successful. Okay. Thank you. And that's one of the biggest things or the biggest difference between the ACE lab and the library. Both are great places to study when you have some downtime. The two biggest differences is the ACE lab has tutors here. The library, you're kind of one-on-one. -on -one. So whatever kind of fits your style, if you're more of a just sit down and focus by yourself, then the library may be a place for you. If you want to be around other people and get some, um, some peer tutoring. And then the other thing is the ACE lab, you can bring your food in. The library, they're not real big on food. They're not real big on noise. So if you have food and want to make a lot of noise, they're going to say, hey, you need to go on down to the ACE lab um, and be down there. So make sure that you are coming by the ACE lab and don't forget to, to log in. We've talked about these things. We, we're going to email you the uh, tutor schedule so that you'll have it on your phone. Early registration, we've talked about that, is October the 29th. Um, and you'll be getting some emails and some text messages about that along the way. The on-course seminars uh, with Professor McKinnis, we've got two coming up. The first one will be decision making, and then the next one will be uh, focusing on college survival as far as some study skills. Um, sometimes starting out at college, especially your first semester, can be a little overwhelming. You're, you're more out on your own. You're you know, maybe away from your parents, or your parents are giving you a little bit more freedom in that, and sometimes students get a little too free and they don't focus on their studies as much as they should be because maybe they didn't have to focus as much in high school. And, and college work is a little different than, than high school work. And so we're going to go over a couple different things on those days. Okay. One thing I do want to mention is Trio Society. Trio Society is a really cool club that's here on campus and it is open to all SSS students. Okay. So it is open to everyone in here. And they meet the second Wednesday of each month. So the next meeting is October the 14th at 1.30 in the cafe, upstairs in the cafeteria. Okay. I've already met a couple of times. There's a lot of community service activities that uh, Trio Society um, volunteers for and a lot of activities on campus that Trio Society just conducts on their own. Um, I did want to introduce, I know we've got several officers in here, just if you're an officer, please stand up and introduce yourself so people will know who you are at the meetings, starting with Aaliyah. <laughs> is Aaliyah here? Aaliyah is here. <laughs> hey everybody, my name is Aaliyah Reitz and I'm the vice president. My name is Tessie Sheff and I'm your vice president. My name is Kimberly Scott and I'm your secretary. I'm Amber and I've not been long thing down the bottom. <laughs> That's a lot to say. Okay, and so we talked about some events and some socials. These are the ones that we've got upcoming. Uh, Fall Festival, which everyone kind of knows what Fall Festival is. It's kind of Chappelle's version of high school field day. You get excused from classes. We'll be meeting down there at the pool. The biggest thing that we do have with Fall Festival is the relay teams. And we've already talked about that at some of the Trio Society meetings. We want to win the Rio, the Relo races, the relay races. And so what we need, the team is a five person team. So we need four really strong, and athletic, fast. and fast individuals to volunteer for that. And then one person that might not be real strong or athletic. So if you're interested in that, See Miss Chandler afterwards and sign up for that. I think she's got a couple different spots left. Actually, Miss Scott. Miss yes. Scott. Okay, there you go. Thank you. And I just want to interject, you know, because we always like to work hard, but we play even harder. Okay, so we want to be able to bring it. This is all about she just you guys. To win. All we do is win, 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 and I feel that each one of you are winners, and so. In the event that you all are not going to participate in the relay, I would like for each of you to come and support SSS Trio Society, okay? Win, 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 win. And sign up with Miss Scott. The other activity I want to quickly mention is the Mariana Mistletoe Market. 
This is a great event that the community puts on every year right before Christmas so that people in the community can go out and you know, kind of buy some homemade items and tr non-traditional things that you wouldn't see in Walmart. Um, so every year, Trio Society and SSS partners together to volunteer uh, for at least one or two days out there. We get more information as, um, as that gets closer. The good thing is you get to be one of the first people inside the building and to see all the booths and you get the first pick of some items in case you want to buy some early Christmas gifts. Um, in addition to Trio Society, there's some other clubs here on campus that you may want to be a part of that you may not have seen out at club day or didn't really stop by the booth. One is Black Student Union, BSU. They were here yesterday uh, promoting their club. Uh, they're very active. They have about 30 members in it this year. Um, and they're doing some great things. They have a FAMU scholarship dinner that is upcoming in October. Last year, there were seven Chipola students that received scholarships from FAMU from this dinner. Okay? And those scholarships totaled about a total of $50,000. And so this is just free money that Chipola students got because they uh, registered, fill out the application. Some of the students were even contemplating going to the University of Florida. But once they received that scholarship money, they are now uh, attending FAMU. So, want more information about that, see um, Ms. Linda Morales in the Social and Behavioral Science Building, Building C, and she can get you an application and get you all signed up for that. Uh, some other clubs we have here on campus that are active is FCA Fellowship of Christian Athletes. They meet Thursday nights at 6.30 in the cafeteria. Uh, you do not have to be an athlete to join. It's open to everyone. Um, traditionally, it is non-athletes that attend. Um, another group is Business and Technology, um, PBL. They have about 32 members in their organization, so they are extremely active also. And a lot of times we know that you get pulled in different directions and you can't be in all the different clubs that you want to because of time constraints. And so a lot of the clubs will work together throughout the year um, in co-sponsoring events. And I know that's some things that um, the club sponsors have talked about doing for this year. Okay, so we're getting close to the end. And just a couple of days, we want you to remember we talked about the FSU Campus Tour sign-up. That sign-up begins September the 21st. And you will actually come by Ms. Chandler's office and sign up with her. Don't forget your $5 deposit uh, to hold your place. And then you see the first on-course seminar uh, date is there. In October, we've talked about Fall Festival. And then October 1st, the same day as Fall Festival, is the deadline to sign up for the FSU Campus Tour. So you have about two weeks there to sign up and to get that commitment so that we can plan ahead of time to know exactly who is going to, to FSU. You see a, a couple different scholarship deadlines there, early registration that we've talked about. This one here, October 30th, is a big one if you're planning to graduate in the fall. If this is your last semester taking classes here at Chipola, or you think it's your last semester taking classes here at Chipola, October 30th is the deadline to apply for graduation. That means your application for graduation is in and everything has been signed off and approved. So you probably don't want to wait until the 30th to start that process. Okay. November, we've talked a little bit about the business and career workshop. November 4th is also the last day to withdraw from a class for fall. If you don't withdraw after that, whatever grades you get in the class will go on your transcript forever. So you have until November the 4th to drop the class and basically not be penalized as far as getting a bad grade on it. Um, and then the following day there on the 5th, which is a Thursday, will be our campus tour of the University of Florida. Um, any other, any questions about anything that we've talked about so far today or? When's the next TRIO meeting? The next TRIO meeting is October the 14th, which is a Wednesday, October the 14th at 1.30. And that is in the upstairs cap. Recording this cap.